Snake wasn't that puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on. We between the lines. Niggas clowns need to be in the circus. Put these buckets on the turf. They defeating the purpose. The first to return when the enemy serves. Immediately on E. These weenies be nerve Dedicated to a section that didn't deserve us. It turned us into murderers and then the deserters. Number one lesson I learned in the bed. When you lose your respect, you can't earn it again. Smoke a lot. Classified, most faded, but love won't be satisfied to all his folks made it. This cabbage patch where he caught most of the damage at. Perhaps he know a magic plastic hey. surgeon that can manage that. Ask me, I'm just a product of my habitat. Narcotic habits where they quick to let you have that. They call me talking about he need half that. I'm laughing at him as if my little bad is having that. Who gon' match you with me? Can you see the sun? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they lead the blind. Am I wrong? Cause I'm all about me and mine. Niggas better catch on, we between the lines. Times you believe, can you see the sun? Tell me who gon' lead the blind while they eat the blind Am I wrong cause I'm all about me and mine? Niggas better catch on, we between the lines Good morning, good morning. So, enough time has gone by. By this time, the word is out, whatever it is. Y'all made me the poster child of this shit with the Joe situation and the paperwork. It was explained that I got it from Star. Star, if you go to his channel, you see all the shit that's going on. You see the back talk, other people talking about it. You see that he the one who set it off. He wanted credit. He was actually getting mad because I was putting my name out there instead of him. I just shouted him out and everything I did because he's the one who put who broke the story. Uh, MC Wreck, he was doing the same thing. And they explained their own stories. How they heard the shit behind the scenes. They had the shit for months and all of that. That's things that are already facts that are on their podcast. Me, I got a fucking IG page. So I posted the paperwork up. Because yes, I wanted to find out, was it real or not? Just like I said, I don't wish that on nobody. I don't put that on nobody. Uh, and I wish that, I hoped that it was fake myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, Joe answered. He explained it. He said he put his life on it. Just like I said I would do. I gave time. The other side has not responded. Which made me believe that Fat Joe's telling the truth. So the paperwork, to me right now as it stands, is for Gazy. I ain't nothing like you fucking rap niggas. Oh, my mama, mama, cuz this the last thing. I expected to see here Oh, Goddery and them Oh, my mama, mama, like, cut Remember just not too long ago We was politicking on the paperwork party Because the paperwork was up You remember, cuz we The paperwork we had, it came from cuz Cuz name, regardless of his lack of activity in the industry In comparison to, uh, Fatho His name, Cuban Links. I don't know if it's because Wu Tang ran with that Cuban. They had a Cuban something in they the chambers or something, right? Cuban. They name had I don't know, but he seemed like his name bigger than or equally hip hop wise to Fat Ho. So when Cuz came with the less successful, typically less successful means you were whether it was by choice or not, more closer to the streets within the time period of the counterpart that you're being compared to was being successful and being involved in industry if you're not as successful as them you're not experiencing what they're experiencing are and you're typically closer to what we consider as the actual street so you're considered more authentic just by default because this guy is getting a chance to be able to be transformed through experience and luxury and success while you're 
less successful in general opinion and not being acclimated to these new things. So he's retained the reputation of being a more credible, solid individual when it came to subjects that pertain to Pun, Fatho, and himself. However, he came with the paperwork party, so it was like whatever. What do y'all think? Because what I think at this point really is neither here nor there. But I want to know, instead of saying what I think, I want to ask y'all, do y'all think some of these things might be possible? Do you think that Fat Ho contacted him and made some type of connection behind the scenes and they pieced it out? And that, that clip actually was a seven minute clip that I refused to watch the totality of. I don't even know. It may have extended longer than the seven minute clip that I uh, put, obtained. However, if y'all want to go look it up, y'all can go check it out. I don't know what else he could have said, but this is what I'm confused about. If you a street dude, right? And that's what Cuban links is basically revered as versus a fat hoe, an industry sold out on his day on no uh, pun. I know for a fact he a fraud um, about being in front of the public sharing history because I was involved in chasing him in Florida at an award show at one point and he's made an account of this scenario. At the same time, Curtisha marked him out on stage in front of thousands, which um, I don't know if it was the Vibe or MTV, whatever pub, um, network was responsible for recording, producing, and then releasing the actual award show chose to edit out um, the most, how we go viral or speak viral these days. This was Curtis's biggest moment of uh, just mano a mano because Fat Ho was on the microphone announcing to the whole arena like you do at an award show. And Curtisha Jack's daughter, salute the cuz at that moment, it was his brightest moment that I witnessed. Um, if I have to vote for one because cuz got about his seat while Fat Ho was presenting the award and walked within like 10 feet is just fair to say. I had no ruler, no tape measure, but I say he was about 10 feet in front of cuz while cuz was in, uh, conducting his business that he was getting paid thousands for. And his public, everything was on the line. I don't know how tapped in he was into the production crew. Probably like Wack Ho No Honey, he T and T I tip tip tipster. He probably knew he could get the uh footage deleted. But uh Curtisha Jack's daughter Mark Cuz out, put nothing but about ten feet between them at a time when uh the camera's on you, all eyes are on you. This is your moment to shine. We've both been back and forth doing a whole lot of this. Now what? And that nigga fat ho just looked like, just imagine reading a teleprompter like this. And yeah, so tonight, the next award goes to, and then you look in your peripheral, and Curtis is just like, hmm, with all that gorilla he had in him, hmm, and he, and he, gave, he gave fat ho all action, cuz that would have been the all time biggest moment in hip hop. What Curtisha should have done, though, to really press the issue since you hmm, should have walked up to that teleprompter and knocked this paper off or something. <laughs> oh, my mama, mama, and then on God in heaven, cuz my dead homies, daughters, everything I love and live for. After, cuz, uh, did that. Wow. Fat like, swallowed that golf ball and, like, looked around and was so shocked. He tried to go back and act like nothing was happening and finish his little speech. Curtis's Jack daughter Cud just walked around the whole arena, Cud, like shaking fans' hands and just directing the attention cuz I was really proud of him at that moment because at that same award ceremony, um, he was sitting in a sea of celebrities, stars. Shaquille O'Neal, Mariah Carey, R. Kelly, they were like People here, people there, people sprinkle. And Puffy had the responsibility of doing the introduction that night. And when he came out, his introduction, he, he was pointing through that crowd of people and naming people that he see. He was like, the stars in the building tonight. Who do I see? Oh, they go Shaq, I see you. Oh, the fabulous uh, Mariah Carey. And he would literally name three, four celebrities that are in order, get to where uh, 50 was at, cuz skip over cuz and then shout out the very next 
celebrity. Like it was an obvious overlook. So just us, be, you know, G Unit Riders in particular, gang of us, mind you, murder Mace, the preacher Mace, right next to me, right? The whole time, bright yellow suit jacket, all that. Anyway, um, there was other whole lot of G Unit Riders, New York, from different places. The G Unit Crip himself, after Cuz did that, bam. Cartesia showed out. He wasn't sitting where he was at. He was sitting down there by all them celebrities. Then, I don't know if this was pre-planned or if somehow Fat Hope politicked it. He also was responsible for making another announcement other than the one he had just got marked out on 15 minutes ago. Here it is 15 minutes later. You know how everything, the spotlight would be over here. Woo, woo, woo. And it's like magicians of the circus while you watching over here they'll be setting up a whole new set over here and then once that go black the light just up over here bam this nigga fat ho is back on the mic and this time whatever he said announced the award or whatever when he was finished he said some whole shit like oh and i also want to say i feel extra safe tonight because of the extra security police presence thanks to g unit that's what he said so once he said that you can see him now when it go dark and it light up over here now you ain't even going for the trick where you still can see in the shadow he leaving you can see where we knew where the terror squad niggas was sitting already on the opposite side of the arena from us now you can see they whole pocket of five six eight nine niggas whatever it was they all get up get out their seat and go through the little tunnel oh well, my mama mama dad homies daughters everything i love and live for i'm asking whoever we with oh it was Halim probably hove or somebody Trav or somebody i'm like cuz do y'all know how to get wherever they going they like, yeah, we probably like 16, 20, 30 deep. Ain't no telling. Kurt T was on that type of shit. He gonna have that many tickets for as many niggas we could bring. So as soon as they get up and exit, we up. We go through the little tunnel. But mind you, we know they on that side. So they either going that way or that way in the back tunnel. We going this way. Just so happened they was going that way too. So just imagine how the track is in a, a dome. Eventually, we gonna meet, cuz we went that way. I don't know if the homies really knew to go that way, if we just took that chance. We could have ended up going that way and chasing them and never seen them. But we happened to go the way where you gonna naturally meet. We was going, bam. My mama, 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 dad, homies, and daughters, everything I love and live for, go watch that award show. Beyonce was there. She wasn't quite Beyonce, but I remember us when we moving with that melee, me and Mace, shoulder to shoulder, we, we trying to break our neck to go find these niggas. I remember, I guess, Beyonce, like, had a, her turn to be up on stage was next to so soon. I remember a group of people was ushering her to the stage with, like, a white dress. Like, I seen the makeup, like, I came this close, kind of like, ooh, that was crazy. We still on one, ooh. So we get to one little area, kind of like, ooh, mm -hmm, where, like, just imagine they were sitting on the opposite side of the arena. So we was, we, we met, like, right where, if you're in a circle, they on that side, we on this side, 50-yard line, 50-yard line or half court, half court. We met like behind where the goalposts would be, the backstage area. But this is how it is. We coming this way, it's a door right ahead of us. And we see them like come into view and go through a door. So they probably about 50 yards went through a door ahead of us. So now we like breaking our neck to get to that door. Cause as we go through the door, Imagine us seeing another door, maybe like 20 yards on the other side of the room that they're exiting. But between them exiting and us entering, it's a group of police ain't showing no stress. They, they see how relaxed I look? They just like this telling us, I wouldn't do that if I was you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. To where we just, whoa. Just bag up out the whole little shittery and go on about our business, right? But I've heard Fat Ho tell that same story in front of the public. So I wouldn't, I'm just saying, he does not keep it a Google. Neither does Curtis. Blows my mind. I don't know why, but that's why when the whole paperwork came out, I just figured Cuban links, my general overstanding, <clears throat> and then Fat Ho, he gonna lie. But then here he come with the retractment. Are they politicking behind the scenes and they got some type of like benefit that is gonna be for Cuban links in the future, which he probably desperately needs and would appreciate, and it's how these rap niggas go out all the time, and me, myself. Or, he was just working with emotions and feelings in the first place, jumped out there trying to be involved in something, and now he backtracking, because 
I don't understand how you a street nigga and you going to the internet saying you posted some paperwork to see if it was authentic on the internet in front of the government, the whole world and everybody. It's like a real street nigga, his age been around since back then. If you attach your hands, your personality, your voice to some paperwork that can possibly even put a bad light on another individual and then you take it public, you got to already be already locked all the way in with the whole concept of what come with that. You can't then back up like what kind of foul nigga is you to allow millions of people to see some paper. Then you see how he's throwing star under the bus? He sound like a nigga in the police station trying to explain why he was there but he's not guilty. He like, you know, Star put it out, y'all. He said, blame it on y'all. Oh, y'all gave me all the credit, made Star mad, you know, from day one. I was just trying to see if it was authentic. So you went to the internet to find out if some real street shit was real. That make you like them, homie. Every time we try to get somebody a pass, they prove as to why nobody deserves a pass. It ain't like what every Cuban link say, make the paperwork authentic or not. But I would imagine, like myself, there were a whole lot of people who really don't give a f But just because they heard the scenario mentally, had to just think it in their brain whether or not what they agree with. A lot of people probably tended to agree with the scenario on the side of what Cuban links was talking to, like myself. But now, it don't even matter what he talking about. The paperwork stands for itself. Not only has Star been around forever, he also is not just rumored to be, claims to be part of the hip hop police. What motivation would he have to one, develop some fake paperwork? What would that do for him? He is so extremely established and well within his pocket of positioning is what he's trying to be. And two, what would it do his brand far as justice is concerned to acquire some paperwork and not thoroughly vet it to where it could be that easily considered fake that he would promote it in such a uh, public fashion i don't believe he would risk the authenticity of his brand based on that one little moment i, I just don't agree with that I, I tend to believe that now i'm just analyzing from what i've seen Cuban links has been based on feelings, wanting to be closer to Fat Ho than he has been. I believe that Fat Ho made communication that caused Cuban links to think that he's going to make amends for some of that distance, separation, and neglect. And now he's recanting. Because uh, just because somebody, whoever, went ever, wherever, wasn't comfortable responding on the internet, now the validity of the paperwork not only is in question, but now you're comfortable making a decision that is fake, fugazi. They, he fugazi. They fugazi. And I can humbly state, as humbly as I can, no matter how arrogant, cocky it sounds, that I am the only one. And this record is the one featuring my boy J. Dell on the hook. It's my boy Trey, uh, 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 Silent J on the beat. It's called the one. When I say the one, it's not T H E one. It's D A, the number one. All digital platforms. Tap in or tap out for the logo. V J Keyway, Bay Mac Avelli, Blake Black Box Productions, Bay Mac Activity. Don't get mad, get money. Do that for me, y'all. Throw mud on my real name Turn around and show love when the deal came Make me wonder if they feel shame I ain't tripping, I'ma kill game Showed up to the show, it was so boring Wasted time, nothing to show for it Took my little bitch, we was both snoring Probably had a better time going snowboard Poor loser, always been a bad sport To have court and won't go if my bag's short Fast forward, smash for it, don't ask for it First class stamps on my passport Tricky shit transpired on the transport Get busy, keep that fire in the Jansport Everything for sale, nothing is priceless Aggressive, decisive, discussing the prices This might be a war with us in the ice 
sixteens. Could the scene take tripping to true extremes? They counted me out, they should not count me in. Cause I'm still up counting these Benjamins. Take a loss, stay down, bounce back, I'ma be okay. Said I'm still up making these money moves, I'm a fucking boss. Making sure my name was mentioned at the end of the day was my main intentions. The popos promoted gang prevention. I was popping at the ops, not paying attention. A and SK hanging extensions, whipping them chickens. I stayed in the kitchen. Believe that crime pays in the pension. Been out the pictures since my days in detention. Making maneuvers through mazes and missions. Magical movements, amazing magicians. Mama used to say, pray for wisdom. Shut up a couple prayers on my way to prison. Backyard boogies be banging functions. Hard to hang in the hood. We Got a gang injunction. Trade from young niggas trying to trade me too. He's had the toting that 40, my favorite food. They counted me out, they should not count me in. Cause I'm still up counting these Benjamins. Take a loss, stay down, bounce back, I'ma be okay. Said I'm still up making these money moves. I'm a fucking boss. That's the one, DA. The number one available on all digital platforms. Go on and tap in uh, for the luck on that right there, y'all. Sniper with Nip Hustle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. Black all Box Productions. Black Box Productions.